Hey everybody, welcome to the Wolf Pit. Hey, today we're going to make a real quick pot of chili. And we're going to use about two pounds of pepper stout beef that we had left over from a couple weekends ago that was frozen. First of all, I'm going to start off with about ten fresh tomatoes out of the garden that I've just diced up. I've not removed the seeds or the skins. Now what we're doing here is we're building a base sauce for our chili. And the beef already has a lot of pepper and a lot of salt on it, so, and garlic, and uh, obviously the bell pepper. So we're going to just season up this sauce uh, with a little bit of garlic, granulated garlic. Say about two tablespoons. We'll come back and add more if we need to. I'll say about four tablespoons of chili powder. And about two tablespoons of granulated onion. For now, that's all we're going to add to this. We're going to stir this up, get these flavors combined. Now we're going to add three cans of kidney beans with the juice. And these are 15.5 ounce cans. All right, we have our tomatoes and our kidney beans all mixed up. And now we're going to add in roughly two, two pounds of pepper stout beef. And this has the, the jalapeno peppers, the bell peppers, the onions, the smoke flavor from the grill, and the salt and pepper that we seasoned it with. Yeah. All right, we're going to turn this down to medium low, put a lid on it, and let it simmer for about an hour and a half, two hours, until everything's come together. All right, after about two hours, our chili is done. We seasoned it up a little bit more. We added a little bit more oregano, a little sugar, a little bit more chili powder, garlic powder, granulated garlic granulated onion and a half a can of beer even though it's already got the, the uh, stout in it from when it was pepper stout beef just needed to loosen it up just a bit so I mean you can see the big chunks of garlic in here um, all the bell peppers the onions all the meat I mean this is <laughs> as you can see it's nothing but meat so, alright our pepper stout beef chili is done let's go ahead and um, Put a little cheese on there, a couple tortilla chips, and some jalapenos. Let's dig in here and see how it turned out. As you can see, it's very meaty. Mm. Immediately get the smokiness from the meat, the spiciness. Mm. This is pretty good for um, leftover beef. The, let's give it one more bite here. There we go. Alright, thank you guys very much for watching and we'll see you next time.